Hi guys, welcome to the Craft Beer Channel. And welcome to, where are we again? <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Francisco baby, uh, me and the Brad have jetted over here for a, a quite literally a flying visit. It's a, it's a flying visit, we're going to uh, Red Beer Festival uh, up the coast of it in Santa Rosa. So yeah, so we've got a couple of nights here in San Francisco so we thought we'd do a video on the best places to drink. Now also we don't have a lot of time so we're going to stick to San Francisco, mostly to the mission area where we're staying but uh, also some places a little bit further north. But the Bay Area has loads of cool stuff and we'll be back uh, to cover that eventually. Uh, hopefully sooner rather than later, but for now, here are the best places to drink in San Francisco. After uh, a, 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 what was it? A, a uh, muscle car. It's a muscle car. It's an Oldsmobile 1960s muscle car. Yeah. Toronado. Um, and this place is kind of like it's, it's cash only. It's a dive. But the beer list here is just insane. Um, we, we've, we've, we've had a barley wine. We've had we had a field work overripe IPA, which was just it was it was pure fruit juice. It was just madness. There was no bitterness there. It was. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure they were having me on. They just carbonated some pineapple juice. And you're just on the Pliny. Why not? I'm on the Pliny, man. When in when Rome. In, why not? When in Rome. Actually, that works because Pliny. No. Wait. Where was he? He was Pompeii. That was nearly really bad. But he was in Rome. So that's what people. That's what people <laughs> ask us about the uh, about the Pliny. They're like, is it pronounced Pliny or Pliny? And properly, it's Pliny. The man was called Pliny. Yeah. But here in America, we call it Pliny. And. Uh, um, uh, just our inflection, and uh, so when people ask, you know, me, is it proper to call it Pliny or Pliny? I say, well, in America, we call it Pliny, but when in Rome, <laughs> oh wait, oh wait, no, wait, uh, I forget. <laughs> City Beer Store, uh, which is up fairly northern San Francisco. Uh, it's half brew shop, as you can see behind me, uh, and then it's got a really cool, very small, very buzzy bar. Uh, I'm drinking Society's uh, Dandy, uh, so Society San Diego Brewer. We'd love to have gone to see them, but it's just a bit too far south. But they, they make literally all kinds of beers. They make wild beers in barrels. They make um, what they call their out west beers, which is old school 
West Coast Brewing, which is exactly what this is. We've been drinking too much of the, the New England styles and the, and the British easy drinking big fruity beers, because this is bitter and dank and piney and grapefruity. And it, Remind you what beer was like three or four years ago, and it's really welcoming to have a really bitter, crisp, like puckering kind of beer because I haven't actually had one in a long time. Uh, but this place also has loads of amazing, um, like Belgian from America and Belgian from Belgium stuff. And obviously, Almanac's not that far away, uh, so whatever you're looking for, it's going to have something. It's a brilliant place. So super close to City Beer Store is one of the most buzzed breweries uh, on the west coast at the moment, a brewery called Cellar Maker. That's exactly where we're going. I'm gonna slam open that door and go give me a hazy juice bomb. is fleeting. Um, let me read out the hops to you. Uh, there is Citra, Galaxy, Simcoe, something completely random, load of weird letters, Centennial and Nelson. Here it is, 6.6%. .6%. It's like there's no body to it, it's just it's just fruit juice. It's it's almost synthetic. It's pretty amazing. And there's, there's no light. There's no light for it, but it's bloody delicious. It's total New England IPA kind of style. Um, and after some of the beers we've had tonight, it's a, it's a kind of welcome home, it's delicious. Fresh beer is hugely important. Beer needs to be kept away from light, from oxygen, and from high temperatures. The best way to do that is to drink in a tap room. Bruce behind me, let me show you the distance to where it's being poured. Hey Brad. Yeah. Hey Brad, do you want a nebulous potato thing? Uh, I'm not sure I can cope with a nebulous potato thing at, at this time of the morning. So as you can see behind us, it's an absolutely beautiful day, so we thought we'd have some slightly warm cast beer to celebrate. And tiny cultures. Tiny, tiny cultures. Uh, so I'm having, gosh, I don't even remember, what was it? It was the Pearly Bakers, uh, which is an app name because it kind of tastes a little bit bready and a little bit skunky, but we also had a really, really lovely bitter uh, from Magnolia. They make, essentially, I guess they're inspired by British brewing. Um, so you have cask here in San Francisco, which is awesome. Uh, and good burgers, right? Man, I always come here for burgers, where we tell So we're at Hate Ashbury area cross section and uh, lots of vintage stuff going on around here. Yeah. Pretty cool. Always uh, yeah, get a burger, have a few great beers. It's my vibe. Have a chat with the homeless guy and drink some cask. Exactly. Living the dream. In retrospect, we barely scratched the surface of where to drink in San Fran. Before we even cross the bay to Berkeley and Oakland, there's still the Rogue Taproom, 21st Amendment, and a load of amazing dive bars with incredible lists we could have filmed in. So use our adventure as a starting point and let us know what you find.